Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys and talk to you a little bit about my uh, Panasonic VHS camera that I have here. This is actually handed down to me from uh, my ex fiance's mother. They've had it for a while and um, they couldn't get it to work. And, you know, it took me maybe all 10 minutes and I got it fixed and it works perfectly fine. So um, this is actually what I'm going to be doing most of the interview pieces on the uh, documentary um, with. But let's go ahead and open up this. It's, first of all, you see it's got, you know, it's nice little uh, carry case for it. That's actually really freaking cool. Um, you know, it's going to come in handy when I'm like, you know, traveling, moving around, you know, going places with it. It's going to be safe and that's awesome. So um, anyways, we'll go ahead and open it up. We got uh, tabs here. You know, I got ginormous hands so I can almost probably do this with one hand, but let's god damn it no I can't do it almost anyways here let me use my knees here okay oh shit anyways okay so now we have here cases open we have the camera let me turn it around here a nice little foam keeps it safe but uh, yeah there's the camcorder itself it is the Panasonic Omni Movie VHS HQ. It's got a autofocus high speed shutter. And um, yeah, so there's its. Uh, come on, focus, you bastard. There. There's its uh, little box that you connect it to for uh, charging and um, also output to TV. It's got a little flap here. It's all the cables. It looks like some giant spaghetti monster just laying and waiting there but uh let's go ahead and take it out and so the unit sitting actually looks fairly vent well not vintage but you know you can tell it's dated um it's not the world's greatest newest and improved piece of technology but it's a lot better than some of the ones that you could get stuck with if you are going to go with an older piece of equipment. So, um, you know, and it's good. It's got the lens cap still. It's actually kind of hard to find on these things. This thing has an autofocus and you can have manual focus too. Um, and I don't know how it does with macro. I th actually, it does do macro recording too, so that's awesome. You know, this thing's all ultimately going to be good all, all around... Uh, piece of equipment. The only downside of it is that both batteries don't hold a charge, so it's going to be a wired unit. It's going to have to be plugged in to be used, but if that's what you got to sacrifice for something to be free and work 100%, then, you know, who cares? <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. But yeah, that's how this thing is. Um, I'll go ahead and, uh, well, I guess, I don't know, until I get a digital converter for the computer, to change the VHS down to digital for editing on the computer. Really won't be able to show you quality tests. Sorry about that, I got a message. Really won't be able to show you uh, quality tests on it until I'm able to get something put on the computer from it. But I will let you know, and you will know when I do. But yeah, there's not much else really to say about it other than, you know, it's probably something. Oh, cool, I saw the strap too. You know, this is probably just something that you wouldn't have seen, you know, since you were five years old. And for it to be in this good condition still, um, I'm actually really happy. So this is going to be my pride and joy for this film project. And, um, you know, I, I would like to have an HQ, but, you know, this, uh, what I'm filming with right now is my phone. It's an 8 megapixel 1080p recording quality. You know, if I want HD, I'll use my phone. If I want to have, you know real crisp, smooth, uh, you know, editable and, you know, just overall use for an actual film, this is what I'm going to be wanting to use. I mean, you know, you're going to go with quality. It's its own quality, you know, just because it doesn't have a 1080p recording doesn't mean that it's crap, you know. It's going to have its basic standard definition recording, which is going to surpass, you know, any, you know, lower end item that you're going to get out there at Walmart so and this thing is over 20 years old <laughs> so but yeah 
that's the Panasonic camera there and uh, just to give you a little insight on what I'll be using here so go ahead and let this video end here thank you very much for watching if you have any questions about anything feel free to let me know uh, email at the end of the video peace